Good morning traders. This is a live trade recap. I took two trades in the pre-market. I got them both on video and um, the first trade something went wrong with um, Weeble and uh, it wasn't really my fault. Kind of screwed up my trade but um, those things do happen sometimes so um, and luckily not often enough to keep me from using Weeble. So let's see what happens. So there wasn't a first of all there wasn't a lot of opportunity um, in the pre-market let me see I had to restart Weeble twice to get the list to refresh and uh, these were the top three volume traded stocks so I put all three of those on my watch list I didn't really like any of them as far as their their price and uh, float combined So CCIV was one that um, kind of looked the best as far as the, the uh, price action. But um, here I'm checking the daily chart. But the thing is, is the, the price is pretty high for me. Um, I kind of prefer $10 or less because I'm trading with a little over $40 per trade. So it really limits the number of shares I can buy, which then of course limits the P&L that I can make off of it. Um, so the, and then this one also ha had a 200 million share free float share size, which is way bigger than I'd like to trade. I like to be around 80 million or less, but there was so much volume that, um, I thought I would take a look at it because if the volume isn't, is there, then, um, it can kind of make up for the size of the float, but let's see what happens. So basically this thing ran up through the um, through the high of the aftermarket already. So I'm just waiting for a pullback and um, for an entry basically. So let's see. So what, look at this candle right here. This is something that I didn't see happen when I was watching this because I was looking at multiple stocks. You can see me go down here and I'm checking other time frames on this chart, adjusting my high a day keep an eye on this there look did you see what happened to that candle so f when I looked at, back at the stock the candle looked just like that and all I can do is what the uh, chart tells me to do you know so to me that looks as far as I know that's the correct candle and and I saw this thing break so the high of this candle right here is 1525 I saw this thing break above that high so I went to enter and I got pretty much an ideal entry. I wanted ideal would be 1526. I got 1527. And then my one R is the range of this candle. So my stop loss is $15. And then uh, that means that two R is essentially uh, 50 cents. So I need it to go to like 1577 basically or stop out at $15 and then here here's 1501 and of course you know I stop when it breaks that level so here's 15 now if, if it hits 15 I stay in but if it goes below 15 like 1499 I'm out notice the way these candles look this is going to come back into play later I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Okay, now I hit 14.99, so I'm out. Get filled at 14.99. So the trade failed. Not a big deal. Okay, now you know, also notice that the chart was a little bit funky here, which I did try to get to um, resolve by changing these these time frames a few times. I did that earlier too. Now, when I come back, notice how different these candles look. This one actually never broke the high. This one on the the chart when I was looking at it, it did. So this is why I'm saying this was like a weevil glitch that uh, caused me to get into a trade that. I would not have entered so that first loss isn't really my fault um, <clears throat> so
So here's the next one. So the high of this candle is 1512. So as soon as you see 1513, I'm in. There I enter. I get 1513, which is exactly what I want. And then the low of this candle is 1492. So that makes my 2R target 1555. So uh, so now I go to, to sell 100% of my shares at 2R, which is 1555. Now the only thing I did, I would say definitely I did wrong here, is um, I looked at this high here as 1550 and I said, you know what, that's really close to my 2R. Let me pull it down to 1549 to make sure that I get filled. And this thing doesn't like bounce off of 1550 and, you know, not get filled. So there I got filled. But this thing did go to, to 1555 pretty quickly too. Let me show you on the, uh, on the chart. So this is the candle that I sold out on that went to 1551. And then immediately on the next candle, it went to um, 1555 and beyond. So I would have easily made the 2R. So, you know, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> but um, at least it was very close to 2R. But uh, again, look at these candles. This was the one that I entered on, on the first trade because it broke the 1525 high of this candle. But look now, it's saying that this candle is actually, it has the high 1530. So I would have never entered that trade. So it kind of stinks because I would have just had that one entry and it would have been a winner. And that's it. Um, luckily, because I did trade, you know, the 2R trading, I'm still green slightly <clears throat> on the day. Although it would have been a little bit more green. Probably not this much because this doesn't account for like the selfies. Um, so I probably would have been green about 26 cents or something instead of 12 cents. But th but this is really the problem. So beside, so notice I marked out, uh, I put a note on this one because of the glitch. And you see on all of my other trades this month, there is no there are no notes. Well, there's one here, but that's... Uh, Oh, that one looks like a glitch too. It says major weeble something. Um, and on that one, that one I actually, oh, I remember. I don't remember the details of that, but um, but I did, at least that one I didn't lose money on. But And that was like a, a, a penny stock anyway that I really shouldn't be trading those. So we'll say two glitches so far this month out of a lot of trades. <laughs> um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2021. So two glitches out of 21. It's not too bad. I mean, it's 10% basically. Um, but let's, we'll see how many uh, happen by the end of the month. So, I mean, we've got to remember it's a, not only is it a free broker, but, but, uh, a commission free broker, but you have to keep in mind that, um, even the pay brokers have glitches. So there's no such thing as like a perfect broker. Um, there might be maybe less glitches with some of those, but you know, uh, you don't really know until you trade with both and so, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, since I'm still kind of in my learning phase and then uh, my strategy building and practicing phase, the best thing for me to do is to keep trading with a, a broker like this. And as long as I can stay green um, by the end of the month, month, which I am, you know, well in the green right now, that's all that really matters. For example, like these trades here, I probably would have lost money on commission because I, I barely made anything on those. So that's it for this morning. I don't think there was anything else. Oh, yeah, I did want to say that, um, you know, basically beside that glitch this morning, there really isn't much opportunity for a trader like me, a low float, looking for low floats. Um, and, and you, you get to see what the result of trading these higher float stocks is. They just don't really make big moves. Uh, also let's look back at that, uh, CCIV chart. So this was where I took my next trade 
and um, almost took the full 2R, then this would have been another opportunity to enter, although I didn't take it because I already did two trades. Um, but it, this one would not have been a big winner either because look at the range of this candle. It's, uh, what's that, 15 minus 12 cents. So 2R would have been 24 cents, and I'm trading, you know, I'm only able to trade with two shares with a stock this price. So that would have only been a 48 cent minus two cents for selling, so 46 cent gain on that one. So it, the opportunity just isn't there on these um, higher float stocks. So especially when they're coupled with higher prices. And this was the only one really that you know had the decent float size but it never showed any price strength because it ran up in the aftermarket <clears throat> all the way to 126 and it never never got anywhere near there it really did sell off yesterday i guess before the aftermarket ended and it wasn't able to get anywhere near the highs and that's it those were the top three um volume traded stocks um naked wasn't on there it is now but i think that's another yeah, that's another higher float stock, plus it's a penny stock. So um, when I was trading with CTRM, CCIV, and, and USWS. So not every day is going to have opportunity. And, uh, you know, so that's when you just kind of st stop trading or uh, just sit back and wait for the opportunity to come. There's definitely volume in the in the market. So that's not the issue, but it's the stocks that are that are getting that volume. So I'll still be back at the um, at the open, and we'll see. Hopefully, there'll be some more low floats uh, in the top gainers list with volume. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.